All right, Mal, what you got for us tonight? So, a game came out recently called Cuphead. I don't know if you guys have heard about it. Oh, I've heard about it. I am already I downloading it. What about it. Smug Mug? Ah. Well, so... <laughs> it's Mug Man! Like, it's a very, a, 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 a very unique aesthetic. It's a side-scroller yeah. shooter like Contra or whatever. The style of the game is awesome. Yeah. But, so, it's quite difficult. Apparently. Apparently. So, that has sort of brought back up an argument in the gaming community that, like, I know I've experienced a lot in the Dark Souls community. And it's like, um, also, uh, they announced yesterday that uh, Assassin's Creed Origin will also, uh, for yeah. the first time, be getting a difficulty setting. You can skip boss fights. Yeah. Okay. And there's a difference between yeah. difficulty setting and skipping boss fights. Yeah, there's, there's definitely thing. a difference. So they call it, like, <laughs> cinematic mode or something like that. Yeah, so, I mean, I guess you guys are on the other side of this. Because <laughs> I just don't care. Like You never care, though, Mal. That's not what you said. I'm not going to sit there, though, and tell someone else they have to experience this a certain way. Well, let me tell you yeah. why you're wrong. Like, I'm not going to be telling someone way. they're having fun wrong. <laughs> Mal, you're no, having fun wrong. Your fun is my fun. That's the only fun. Because, like, like I want to play the Dark Souls, and I want to love the Dark Souls games. I've never completed one. Because some points I just start getting so frustrated where I'm not having fun because I'm just frustrated. Right. So here's the thing. It's like diffi- the game's difficulty is like a design choice. It's like it's meant to build up frustration, but it feels so good when you beat it. But different people have different skill levels. So no, why? What? Like. <laughs> Mal, you got a bone to pick the knot, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Someone's. Like, someone could experience those same feelings if it's easier. Or like Because at this point, because Dark Souls games to me is easy. So I would want a harder difficulty. But, you know, uh, you could. I, I could recommend you one, actually. Uh, but it's not going to be Soulsborne. No, it won't be Soulsborne, unfortunately. Right, that's what I'm saying. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Like, like I, if it's part of their advertising, like, like, it's part of what makes the game the game. Like, they're having no qualms whatsoever saying that this is what the game is. I guess I'm kind of okay with it because Except I just won't play that game. <laughs> that game could be the same feeling to a different person at a different difficulty. I like, yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, on one hand, and why does having that option just ruin it for you? Um, uh, well, well, let me so... tell you why with my essay that I'm about to read off. <laughs> 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 no, actually, I, I actually I, I get where you're coming from, Al. I uh, I kind of agree with you. Um, I agree with you. And, and in a few in a few ways, um, I think difficulty. If you're if you're shouting at somebody that you're playing a game and it's dumb that you're playing it on easy, I think one you have way too much time on your hands, and two, yeah, I get a lot. Um, you need to definitely think about where you're putting your efforts into life because my God, man. Um, I get like why some people though want to stand by. It's like this game should be experienced like this because that is getting the full experience of the game. And let's be let's let's just cut to the right to the chase here. From a very logical standpoint, that is an opinion. You cannot right. factually prove that in any. They way. want to feel good about themselves because they I can do so. it and you can't. Yeah. On the other hand, though, I understand from a sense of reasoning why somebody might say if you really want to get the most out of the game you really should play at this difficulty because the game might be designed around that difficulty or the game might be having i guess but i mean reward some... and the effort for putting into the game for what it is might be more uh, more Except better i was about to say more people better are just gonna like pick up like i've seen people are like yeah i picked up dark souls it was pretty easy like yeah so they're not experiencing the same game either yeah exactly and that's well i mean like again that comes back if to they the had a harder difficulty setting they could Right, and that's yeah. totally true, which is why I said, like, it's definitely opinion. But I can, like I said, I, again, I can reason and understand why some people might say if you really want the best experience, you should play it at this difficulty. Again, and again, but... that's also an opinion, though. Just like the original's opinion, this too is an opinion. Yeah. Well, and I guess I have two aspects coming from the game designer standpoint, because I know we're talking a lot from the, um, the player's standpoint. But uh, first off, like, in the case of, like, Dark Souls or other some type of, like, gothic horror style... Um, even looking at like something that's Cthulhu mythos based, if it's something that is really easy for you to just kind of breeze through, you're not going to get the same horror feeling as a player because, well, I can just beat it, you know. And, and it's not to say that that's not the case. Like, sure, it, it, but that's why more. having options are good because then you exactly. can increase the difficulty or lower or it or decrease it if it's too hard and you're not completing it. But on easy, you're still going to get the feeling. Right, I think it'll still be there, but I think that be an aspect of the storytelling 
Because, I well, I, I mean, if someone can't that. get past the boss, then they're just locked out of this game. Look, forever. look, I got the solution for you. They just need to bring cheat codes back. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bring those back. Just give Dude. me my 99 lives. I, that is in its own yeah, way. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but man, how awesome was it to, like, go to the grocery store and buy your video game magazine yes. and had all your cheat oh, codes okay. in the back? I was, sometimes I would just buy games because the cheat codes sounded let cool. Let but let anyways, that's right another now, topic. Gex? Gax was amazing because of that, but yeah, you're right. I remember some of those. I, I mean, if you're on the PC, you could probably open a console. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, yeah. But like, I guess my second point too is, how do you scale difficulty? Yeah, I mean, like, that depends. That's there's a very oh, various of yeah. techniques. Right. The most well, often they, crutch is, I mean, like just increasing and just increasing their health and damage. damage and yeah, make them right. bullet sponges. Exactly, but some so sometimes that doesn't make it easier. That just or harder. That just makes it longer. Sure. Well, that's that's it, a different. A, oh, that's such a different beast, though, altogether. But, yeah. But I think that's partially why sometimes. You that's just bad designing. Yeah. Yeah. I like I that's that's on the designers. I like how like Cuphead that, does it because the bosses have different mechanics. On different right. Mechanics. You have to come up with like the designer would have. I mean. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Exactly. Exactly. But but my point is is that for some people. HP makes it harder for others. You need to vary up how it gets. And so my only point is, is that on on the designer standpoint, it's still hard to place that. Like, because again, like you're saying, somebody could be playing on extra hard, nightmare, new game, plus 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 ultra death mode, and still think it's easy. Sure. Whereas player B is on easy, 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 and he still can't get past boss two. Um, and so as a as a game designer, how do you develop to cover all of those people? I don't I think well, it should be tried. It definitely should be. But yeah, I'm just, and I'm not. I, oh, what? I was gonna say I was gonna jump in there and it's like, like kind of like, I guess tangent off to the side here a little bit, but it might also go like with the game design. The game designers might actually just have a specific vision in general for the game. Like they simply state that this is the difficult that we want the game to be at because this is what we think is this is the way we want the game to be played in a manner of how difficult it should be, and that's fine too. So, like, to kind of go back to what you were, like, saying a little bit, Tets, um, like, sometimes they may not want to have to make multiple difficulties and rebalance for those multiple difficulties because to them, the game is meant to be experienced this way. And the game is meant to be played with this kind of difficulty. Yeah. Well, it could, they could definitely not have time to or whatever. I mean, that's that's a different beast altogether because of time yeah, constraints absolutely. and crunch time and whatnot. But if if the game designers feel that this is how their game should be played... I mean, just as uh, players can decide that they rather play it on easier or harder, the game designers can simply just say, this is just how it's meant to be played. And if you can't I guess. beat it, then it's that's just, really you. I guess games are the only form that, like, require you to have a certain skill level to, you know, have experience all of this me piece of media, right? Like, you don't have yeah. a test to continue on in a movie. Well, but, sure? but at the same point, you can, <laughs> like, if it's all about just getting the story, you can always go to use it yeah i think at that point if you're just concerned about getting the story why even bother buying the game but at the same time I, I see what play. you're saying like like for some people I mean, it's not the story. sometimes it is the game play. well let's play usually has like another person that is doing like i i don't know are there i know a lot of let's plays become popular for the personality are there a lot of ones that there are ones out there that are simply silent i know for a fact they're actually yes. they're not called let's plays they're generally called game guides and right. what they do um is they play through the game the person says nothing and they yeah. just go through the game they watch the cutscenes. sometimes it does take some it's back, watch one for demon popcorn. souls it's pretty, like, they're pretty interesting. Um, but if you're just watching it for the story, I would actually say you could probably just save for yourself some money. Pick up a game guide for somebody who's playing through it who doesn't say anything, because they are out there. I know they are. Like, I had to do that for Neo. Like, I, I will admit it. I did that for Neo to get the rest of the story. I right, could but... not beat the Jirogumo, and it was pissing me off. <laughs> that, take, that takes a while for someone else to produce that content. No, yeah. No, agree. Right. Like, you can't buy that on release day and it have that. Right. But I mean, the difference is that it's just can you. like a cinematic. <laughs> like, like, that's why I like a lot of RPGs now. They have like a story mode where, yeah. like, it makes the like. I mean, I think I paid like what, like my uh, forty or fifty or whatever bucks for uh, Divinity, and I've put eighty hours into it. And if I got burnt out, I like the option that I can just go right down to the easiest setting. And I think get the rest of the story. I think I, I kind of at the end of the day, though, I think what the difference is, is that if you are 
only specifically interested in knowing about the story of a game, then you are going into this game with probably the mindset of, I want to watch a movie. If you're picking up a game, you're picking it up because you like the interaction. You like Agreed. the ability to cause input and get output from your input in whatever way you feel is appropriate. Um, if you're talking about from like a... No one should ever play a visual novel. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Like, that's the case. But I say, like, generally, if you're going into like you the idea... You should just watch them. Because those are all story. I mean, well, yeah, a visual... I think it's kind of choose your... But they're still choose your adventure based. Yeah, they, they, still, exactly. they still have input. But again, that's... The visual novel is generally kind of in the game category as well. Because, I mean, if you're having input on it, you're kind of playing it. Right. You're telling well, me that's that's my, plenty of games like Divinity but, has tons of options. But that's my point. Is There's that's no way you could just watch it. one game guide and get them all. Well, no, but that's Divinity's in its own different beast. I mean, well, Divinity, I mean, it's a it's an RPG. Oh, oh that's it's. Oh. I mean, there's plenty of RPGs that even just have like three routes that you would have to then watch three times or play three right. times. Play, but but again, but the problem is here is that like what we were talking about is a sense of difficulty. If you're going in for the only idea of that, you want to see the story, so the difficulty is not an issue for you. Right. Rather well, maybe they do want some gameplay though. I mean, but that well, then if you're going within that mindset, you're not going within the mindset of the story. You do want input and output, and that's what I'm saying. If right. You're, if you're that's maybe they that's only want minimal. Saying, this is why I just say that's fine. Things are good. That's, that's that's totally fine too. I w- I wasn't saying like there was a better or like a better for or against. I was just saying that if you are simply going in to see a story, and you're only going in for that, you don't want anything okay. else. Sure. Then you'd rather it's better for watch. But if you want some sense of feedback, if you want to make choices, then right? Definitely- and a lot of people do, but people get so offended at the mere notion of like Dark Souls having a difficulty setting. I guess. I mean, here's here's my other thing. Um, and I know that this is going to get me a lot of flack before I even say it. There's nothing pew, wrong pew, pew. with not having completed a game because of difficulty. What? There's no, that's impossible. The game maker you go back and complete that game, game right now. With the <laughs> high difficulty and not including an easy mode, and you just don't complete it. Because you know what? And I know that games are an escape from reality. There's a lot of things that you just never are going to accomplish. Period. I mean, right. that's just life. But I guess, should you be able to spend sixty dollars on a game and then only be able to get two hours into like sixty of the hours? Like, I mean, I, I mean, guess should you be owed, you know, I, I to think be able to complete but, the game? But that's kind of that's kind of part of. I mean, that's kind of the gamble of buying games, though. I mean, like if you're buying a brand new game at sixty dollars, right? But you don't have to like of. gamble to finish a book. Yeah, no, do. but books are ten, or you know, ten. Bucks. I know Sometimes a few books do. that I have not finished. When, when you do those uh, read along ghost book, ghost goosebumps <laughs> books, the choose your own adventure ones, and then you actually die and get the bad ending. Right, right, but nothing is stopping you. Like, well, yeah, no that skill level. Yeah, 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 there is. Yeah. I have to turn to like page sixty three instead of forty nine. Uh-huh. There's a lot of skill to that. <laughs> yeah, but, but I, and I agree that it's that that in games it's a skill as opposed to. I don't know, time or whatever reason that you might not watch a movie or read a book. Um, But who plays video games, who doesn't recognize that video games are a skill-based media? I mean, you just know it. And saying that I don't have this skill in my life repertoire, there's nothing wrong with admitting that. I'm not saying that game designers... No, but there's also nothing wrong with wanting to finish a game. No, 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 there's not. There there absolutely isn't. And I'm not saying that, that... game designers should cater in that direction. I, they, I I am for difficulty settings, both having it really, really easy and really, really hard to cover everybody. Um, but at the same time, I'm also okay with if it's not there and I can't complete the game, we need to be okay with ourselves to say, I just can't do it. Yeah. And then I if, think there's, I, if you get beyond, like even just difficulty that the game gives you, you can also put your own rules into the game, like Iron Man yeah, challenges. Well, or it's always easier to make it or... harder. You can't make it easier, necessarily. Exactly. I think, though, like, when it really comes back down to it, is it, it kind of comes back with, it it's really is an opinion-type thing, um, and it really is going to be different, because it's all about perception. It's all how you perceive the game to be. Some people perceive that a game should be done some way, and some game designers agree with that, and that's why they make their game with only one difficulty, and it might be Balls to the walls are and, and that fine. sucks for people <laughs> who don't want that but that's fine for them to believe that that's how the game should be experienced and played just as there are you're totally free in your own perception of ways seeing things that 
any game should have any range of difficulty from movie mode to I swear to God, if I get even if I even so much as stub my toe, I immediately die, drop all my items and have to start over to level one. Yeah. And that's fine. But it's it, an art form. It, it, it's in that way. Yeah, it is kind of an art form. You're going to have different people's opinions and thoughts and perceptions about how a game should be played on not only what difficulty, but if it should have difficulties. Play the game whatever way you want, man. Just don't do it with eight year olds online. <laughs> oh my god! No, no, no! It, it, never mind. I'm not. Gonna I want a whole team of eight-year-olds, and I'm going to face off against. Two just odds. call you new constantly. But if that's what you enjoy playing, you know what? More power to like. I yeah, guess yeah. my big thing is play what you enjoy, and more power to you. I think. I guess all, what I don't I like is agree. people who get. Yeah, who tell people like oh, they're people, bad yeah. because. Yeah. They want an easier mode, yeah. and they have the right that's, to do that it, too. It, but that, you just, just yeah, you're are kind of jerks. yeah. Those are being pretty much just yeah. jerks. If you're telling somebody that you're bad for playing it this way, I think first off, again, I go back to what I said earlier. You have to focus on better things than <laughs> trying to tell somebody that yeah. the way they're playing the game is wrong. I mean, <laughs> if they're running off a cliff every single time, I mean, mechanically, yeah, they're playing it wrong. But by God, if they want to run off that cliff, who are if you to deny them? Well, that's just emerging game. It's emerging game. And if you don't I mean, like, like it, don't watch. But if you're doing that and you have, like, you know, you're just laughing your head off and you're doing it for hours because you personally think it's hilarious. Well, yeah, then it's that not clip, really so you're That's totally how my friends that. play uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto, so. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's, hey, man, it's whatever you want to do. That's the that's awesome thing about most games. You can do and whatever you want to do. And I think ultimately to kind of bring it around is do what you want to do and Game designers should try to make games to allow the whole spectrum to do what they want to do, but at the same time, that tenet also applies to the game designers. Game designers, design the game you want to you want to design, yep. and the people who want to play that game will play that game, and the people who don't won't. And you get whatever enjoyment out of designing the game that, that you get out of it. So as long as it's my way, as long as you design it my way. We are people. We have agents. I was about to say, as long as it's with 50-foot-tall robots, because we need more persona. Right? <laughs> no, we need more persona. I know, but I like going back to it, I, I do agree with you, Mal. Anybody who's jumping yeah. on somebody's we all agree. For, uh, yeah, we all agree there. Yeah. If you don't, your opinion's wrong. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> on that note.